I, I, I call myself, myself a musculoskeletal tissue mechanist, which I'm, because I'm interested in the way uh, forces and um, loading uh, um, in, in our, in our musculoskeletal system interact with that, because that's the role of our musculoskeletal system is to give us structure and strength and the ability to move. Currently, um, some of my specific research goals concern understanding um, advanced glycation end products and their role in musculoskeletal diseases. So, for example, we think there might be a role for advanced glycation end products in osteoarthritis. So we're testing that out um, in an animal model that spontaneously gets osteoarthritis and we're, we're, we're looking to see if, if advanced glycation end products um, accelerate that process. I'm also working with orthopedic surgeons at Mount Sinai Hospital where I apply my engineering background um, and mechanical testing background to help them determine the best um, design and um, configuration for their um, complicated implants and reconstructions. They, they require a complicated reconstruction due to perhaps a tumor um, that's been removed from a bone or um, they've had complications with a, t a total knee replacement and so um, they're lacking the bone required to, to hold the implant in place. So we're looking at, um, I'm, I'm applying my engineering along with their clinical know-how to solve some of those kinds of problems. Osteoarthritis is a really good example because it affects 10% of the Canadian population. That's amazing. That's a huge number. That's three, over 3 million people in the country. Um, and uh, um, arthritis and rheumatism as a whole is close to 20%. So uh, osteoarthritis is a huge chunk of, this, of the, these diseases of the joints and of the musculoskeletal system. And that in itself can have a, not only a, a huge burden in terms of health expenses, but a huge economic burden in terms of people not being able to go to work because they're too sore and in too much, too much pain to work, to stand up at their job or whatever it is that they do. So by doing osteoarthritis research for one, maybe we can, we'll be able to get to the point of getting more of these people back to work or back to the things they love to do, you know, playing with their grandchildren or whatever it is. In far fewer numbers, there's, there are patients who, again, have had um, treatment for, for cancers. And, and in some cases, their, their musculoskeletal system is affected, whether they had a, tum a bone tumor or a tumor that um, the treatment affected the bone. And, and so they have musculoskeletal complications from that cancer. And, um, and these people, unfortunately, have, can have major defects, large portions of bone missing. And so it's, it's, um, it's very motivating to, to work on problems where we can try to uh, help these people through better reconstructions to get them moving again. So is this